Normally, gar are caught before the water begins to cool down, well before the sun sets. That's gone up, it's gone up again. Most guides give up fishing by mid-afternoon. Set it, set it, set it, set it. There we go. That's it. Please be on it. Feel something? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a fish. Ain't no turtle. Hey, oh, yes! Yes! <laughs> Ooh. I'm hooked into my target, a river monster with a fearsome reputation, the oh. alligator Gar. Oh, it's pulling down, it's pulling down. Look it's at it, look at that rod chair. Yeah. <laughs> let's get him up, let's get him up. After fishing for 12 hours straight, just as dusk turns to night, I set my eyes on the giant fish. Do you want me to? The most dangerous part of gar fishing is bringing the fish aboard the boat. Coming over. Oh, there we go. That's what we wanted. That's exactly what we wanted. That is exactly what we wanted. That's a, that's a proper size fish. As the gar comes aboard, it thrashes its snout from side to side like a scythe. I haven't forgotten that three-footer that got me. This fish is almost seven feet long. Single hook. Single hook. Single hook, single hook. <laughs> We've done yeah. it. We've done it. Fantastic, Mark. That was really... <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> OK. We got the gaff handle? Yes. All right, so this will go in here. OK. The teeth of this scar are another half inch longer than those that scarred me earlier. I think it's 123, 123 pounds. Good, 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 good. The tag will provide the biologists with data about which areas of the Trinity River. Oh, That's my God, uh, you got bit, huh? I was just in there trying 